Look up to the sky. The Leonid meteor shower is going on. Chief Meteorologist Jeff Edmondson joins us now with more on the shooting stars. New at four and Jeff, I probably mispronounced that. No, you got it right. Oh, Leonids. Good. Yeah, okay. you got it right. Yeah, the Leonids are out right now. Uh, it's not the best show of the year. This is a show that's kind of weak, but if you do see a shooting star, you you see a meteor that's going through the night sky, it's probably from this. How many would you see if you were to stand there underneath dark skies? In suburban city lights, around zero to five per hour, not that many. If you're in a nice rural area where the sky is darker, you can get up to five to ten meteors per hour. The peak was last night going into this morning, but again, it will continue into tonight from midnight to 2 a.m. is the time to look. Now, where are these meteors coming from? They're coming from the comet Temple Tuttle, discovered by these two astronomers in 1860. Let's give them a name here. We have Wilhelm Temple and we have Horace Parnell Tuttle discovered this in 1865. Now the stats for the nerds that love the stats, the orbital stats for the comet. The farthest distance it is away from the sun is 19.7 astronomical units. Remember one astronomical unit is the distance from the earth to the sun, 93 million miles. The closest the comet gets is 0.98, so about the distance the Earth is to the Sun, and it takes 33 years to orbit the Sun for its orbital period. The next time we'll see it is in six years, May 2031, when the comet comes back. After the comet comes by, there's a better chance for more meteors per hour. That's why we're talking about that. So we'll look forward to that comet in six years. Otherwise, we're looking forward to cold temperatures tonight.